everyone, welcome back to the workbench. Today I'm going to be bringing you a back on the bench review of the CAR CW380. Before we get started, this firearm of course is completely unloaded. There is nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber, no ammunition present on the workbench. If you're looking for a full review of this gun, including specs and details, I will link to my original video in the description below. In this review, I'm going to be talking about my experience with this gun over the last year and uh, some features that I like, some features that I don't like, why I chose this over competitors, and uh, also answer the telltale question of would I buy this gun again. So let's get right into it. Um, why was I looking for a backup gun? Well, it's always good to have a primary firearm that has good capacity, uh, but in the event that something happens, you have a malfunction, you are for whatever reason separated from that firearm or maybe you just run out of ammunition you want to have something that is going to bring you peace of mind but also offer as a backup and that's really where this firearm came into play during my search in looking for a backup firearm i considered revolvers and semi-automatics equally there are a few things that deterred me from the revolver uh, the first of which being the wit the overall wit um, the revolver was just so much wider than a than this semi-automatic pistol. In addition to that, capacity, the revolver only held five rounds that I was looking at. From a weight standpoint, the revolvers were heavy because they were a true full steel frame. So I opted to go with a semi-automatic pistol. Well, why did I choose this particular semi-automatic pistol over its competitors on the market? Some of the competitors include the Ruger LCP-380, the kel P3AT, the Bodyguard 380, and many others. Well, the reason I chose this was very simple. Uh, from a price point, it was not the cheapest, but not the most expensive. It kind of fell right in the middle. Capacity actually did very well. It's six rounds plus one, and of course, you can go to magguts.com. You can get the different spring kit for this, and you can get seven rounds in here plus one. Weight. This firearm is incredibly lightweight. Ergonomics it is very comfortable to hold even though it is a very small firearm. But what really sold me on this particular firearm over the other 380s in its class was one very simple feature. Let me demonstrate that feature for you. Last round hold open on an empty magazine. It seems childish, maybe it seems unimportant, but for me, having the ability to know when I'm out. As a shooter, I shoot enough and I can perceptively feel the difference between a full cycle of the firearm, i.e. the slide coming back and then moving forward to chamber a new round, and the slide locking back on an empty magazine. So that's really why I chose this particular firearm. I wanted something that was very, very small, very, very lightweight, but something that still offered more capacity than five rounds. The CAR CW380 was the perfect choice for me. So now I guess it comes down to that final question. If I could do it all over again, would I buy the CAR CW380? The answer to that question is yes, I absolutely would buy the CW380. Uh, I really still think that last round hold open feature sets it above its competitors. That's not to say a Bodyguard 380 or a Ruger LCP 380 is a bad choice. They are great firearms and with the ballistics today of the 380 round, they are perfectly viable options even for primary carry if that's all you can conceal. For me, personally, the choice was the CAR CW 380. I will say if you choose to buy this firearm, you should strongly consider the Talon grip. It helps with the aggressive texturing on the back strap but also the rubberized version for me gives me a better purchase on the gun and makes it more manageable to shoot. So with that, I will say thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I will talk to you all again very soon.